Hi, this is James from Tabletop Gaming Guild, and today we're going to look at STEM Epic Heroes. This is going to be a 2-4 to four player game and take about 15 to 30 minutes to play. Let's go ahead down to the table here. I'm going to give you a general overview of how to play the game, and then we'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so this is what an initial setup of STEM Epic Heroes might look like. Now a couple different things, if you're playing with two players, you're going to remove all the solid color cards that are worth five points from this discovery deck. You're going to shuffle the discovery deck, you're going to shuffle the hero deck, you're going to put five discoveries out, and you're going to, each player is going to draw six hero cards. Now you can discard as many of these hero cards as you want, shuffle them back into the hero deck, and draw up that many cards at the beginning of the game. You can also which I wouldn't suggest for the first game, but later on you can also put out four challenge cards. And these challenge cards will allow people to pick them up if they meet the criteria on the card. So just an extra way of getting a couple extra points by racing to get different things. Now let's go ahead and set these off because that's all there is to the challenge card, but we're gonna go over the basic game here. So challenge cards again, future games, I wouldn't do it on your first one, but basically, you're gonna do a couple different things on your turn. You can play a hero card. So on here, I can pick one of these heroes. Now, what's really important about these heroes is the symbol they have, the color, and their ability. So a lot of these abilities will happen when you place them down. And some will happen for scoring at the end of the game. So just pay attention to what it is. And you're gonna to have to match this tech with the card that you wanna pick up. Now, a lot of these cards are dual, so you can get two different things. And you're trying to get one of each of the steps. So once you have one through five, you win the game. But a hero can only have one discovery. So you put the hero down and you can get a discovery. That is one thing you can do on your turn. The other thing you can do on your turn is if you have nothing that you can do in your hand, you can do no action. And at that, you're just going to discard one of these discovery cards from the field, replace it, and you can discard up to three cards from your hand and draw. you always draw up to six at the end of your turn. Now, a special hero that I wanted to mention real quick are these polymath heroes. And you can see on here, they can pick up any discovery. Now, when you're doing discoveries, another thing to keep in mind, you can only ever have one card of each step so I can never get a step one again there is another action you can take on your turn you can place one of the enhancement cards on your hero now they have to match the color so I don't even have anyone and well so if I had if I had him down so let's say he had hypothesis step two I could put down the calculator now they can only ever have one item and one location each hero. And like I said, you're gonna continue this on until you have all five steps of the scientific method. Once that occurs, the game will end. You will, whoever wasn't the first player and um, it'll continue on until everyone has that equal amount of turns. So if the first player ended the game, each other player would get a turn. If the person to the left of the first player ended the game, then we're done. So the, just to re recap here, your scientific method is gonna be observation, hypothesis, experiment, analyze data, and publish results. So once anyone has gotten those five, the game will end again, and then the person with the most points wins. So you're gonna be looking at the upper, um, corner of this card for how many points it's worth. You're going to tally them all up and that's it. Now, one thing to mention that's really cool in this game is there's inspiration cards. I actually didn't draw any inspiration cards. There's a lot of them. And you can play these cards at any time. Now, when you play these cards, they just immediately happen. The only thing a opponent can do is if they play the same inspiration card, so the lost results, lost results, they can cancel it. But other than that, when you play these, uh, the, these will actually occur. And there's a lot of these in the deck. I don't know why I didn't draw any in my first hand, but these are a good 
strategic portion of the game. So you're going to be using these to either delay the game or uh, you, if you take out the discovery. So if I take out this discovery, it will take out everything. So all these cards will be lost. So that is something to keep in mind that if opponent's going to win, you can slow them down by taking out one of their discoveries or so on. So that's about it for STEM Epic Heroes. Let's go ahead back up to the table here and I'll give you my final thoughts on this game. So STEM Epic Heroes is a pretty fun little card game. I really, really like the inspiration cards in the game where you can go in and do sort of like take that moves and basically stop or slow down an opponent from just immediately winning or give yourself a little bit of the edge during the game. I like the uh, having to make the decisions on your turn of like how you're going to combo these with the rooms and the items and stuff. And once you play this game a couple times, it's really good to have the challenge cards out because they give a extra little boost um, during the game. Also, just because someone has completed their thing doesn't mean they win the game. So points are very, very important uh, on the end of this game and what you actually pick up. So overall, I like this game. I think most of the educational portion of this game is going to come from just drilling in STEM to the uh, player and mainly through uh, the uh, scientific method process. So getting that down, they'll know that by the end of the game. Also, I would recommend that in the back of the rule book there is a little synopsis on each of the heroes throughout the game. So probably read that to your child or read that to yourself while you're playing it because this game is fun enough that adults will like it. So overall, I highly like this game. Well done. That's our thoughts on STEM Epic Heroes. Thank you for watching.